Steve King doesn't belong in Congress. He is a disgrace. He has shown over and over again that uh, he has bigoted views. He has bizarre views like what he talked about today regarding rape and incest. He should not be a policymaker in this country. And I feel bad for the people of Iowa as somebody who's from Texas that Steve King is the Iowa politician that most people outside of Iowa know is from Iowa because of how often he makes these crazy statements and bigoted statements. That's unfortunate because as, a, as I've come to know more of the people of Iowa, I know that Steve King's bigotry and his bizarreness does not reflect the people of Iowa. So I hope that J.D. Shulton will beat him in November of 2020 if he's not defeated already in a primary. There Two are more a lot questions. Of Democrats in the race who are calling on Steve King to resign. If he resigns, does J.D. Shulton have a chance of beating the Republican challenger in that district? I believe so. Uh, I believe that J.D. Shulton has a good amount of crossover support. He's from the district, uh, grew up there, came back home there. Uh, he has traveled throughout the district and I think appeals to people that uh, may have been Republican, but under Donald Trump, they're thinking twice about voting Republican. So whether Steve King is J.D.'s opponent or not, uh, I'm confident that J.D. has a good shot, a decent shot, of becoming the next congressman from that district. And why not? I mean, uh, Democrats already have three out of the four congressional seats. Uh, I believe that they can get that fourth one. Are you comfortable with calling on Steve King to resign? Uh, yeah, I've said that. I think I said that a while ago. I mean, you know, Steve King is a disgrace. Uh, he has been so bigoted. He's been so bizarre. Nobody like him should serve in a position of public trust. Not only that, he can't be effective anymore because he was stripped of his committee assignments. So for his constituents, he can't do anything for him in Congress. He's got no power. Uh, he only embarrasses his constituents with his big mouth. And he should resign. He shouldn't be in Congress.